The videos on Come Again TV are not made for kids. Anyone under the age of 13, get your parents' permission before watching. Some videos may contain graphic or lewd content. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show... You want to introduce the next topic? Let's see, are we going with Wolverine? I think we are. Can Wolverine be circumcised? What do you guys think? Can Wolverine be circumcised? What are your thoughts? Oh, yeah. You could do it over and over, <laughs> and it'll just keep rejuvenating. <laughs> that like, here, give me five minutes. It's back. Let's... I mean, you could do this for months. I think even Lobo would get bored. <laughs> <laughs> if a woman were to do that to him, say he was in a relationship with this woman, that'd be like riding someone new every time. Right? <laughs> she can go circumcised, Fresh. uncircumcised. Circumcised, <laughs> uncircumcised. Now... I just think that would have to be tender for a while, so it would, like, amp up the, you know, Now, if Wolverine... if Say this, whoever circumcises him, got a little bit too happy with the knife. It would grow back, too. Would it be longer? No, he would go just to his regular... He never, he, you don't get extra fingers when you cut off fingers. Right, but I mean, you, he's got bones. I mean, pe, pe, normal people don't grow their fingers back anyway. No, but Wolverine would, but you wouldn't grow two new fingers. It wouldn't be longer. Right, well, it, if, if Wolverine... Okay, it depends, I guess, how much it excited him then. Could you imagine that comic? That there is no way the Comics Code Authority would approve that. I, and that might have to be a crossover with DC. Harley Quinn, Wolverine. Let's see. Let's see her here. And her girlfriend, Poison Ivy. Oh, Wolverine would have fun with that. Right. I I think Wolverine would. Uh, so have... with the right poisons and Harley Quinn. Okay, yeah, possibly. Back to Wolverine getting circumcised. That was still the topic. <laughs> Would he actually allow it to happen? Uh, if Jean Grey was involved, yeah. Okay. Oh, he would totally go for that. Anything she said and wanted. <laughs> now, let's say he got circumcised before he got it, before his mutation kicked in. Would it be a normal circumcision or would it grow back? Interesting. Because you would think that's usually done at birth, but he was born a very long time ago. Right. So were they even doing circumcisions back then? No, they, they the didn't start time? doing circumcisions circumcisions until the early 1900s, I believe. All for right. and he's anyone who's that, not Jewish. So he wouldn't have been circumcised. In fact, let's take a look at the history it, of circumcision. Mutations usually kick in at puberty. So we would say 12, 13 years old, most likely. So, I didn't even have to type in the full word. As soon as I put history of C-I-R, the second option was history of circumcision. Which means people on Google are really bored. So, according to Wikipedia, it started in the Middle East in 2400 BCE, uh, modern times, uh... Circumcision did not become a common medical procedure in the Anglophone world until the late 19th century. Well, where they decide Wolverine came from? He came from Canada. Was that original, though? Yes. All right, so no Middle Eastern or Egyptian blood, because Egyptians, right. I'm sure, were doing all sorts of fun things to everybody. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I would go that he hadn't been circumcised. But... In 1855, motivated in part by an interest in promoting circumcision to reduce masturbation. That leads me to another topic entirely. Saber was probably circumcised then. <laughs> um, if it started in modern times around 1855, then I would say, yeah, he more than likely would have been circumcised. I bet he's older than that. No, according to... Well, let's bring up Wolverine's... Yeah, y'all yeah, changed his name since I was your aunt. Whatever James Howlett. That was... He took that... Wolverine took the name Logan after a bully. When he lost his memories. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Wolverine was born as James Howlett in North Alberta, Canada uh, during the late 1880s. 
So. So he was right on the cusp. Yeah. It would depend on whether or not his parents were into that. Well, his parents were very wealthy. So more than likely, I would say probably. Probably circumcised. Probably. Because any procedure right at the beginning, only the wealthy are going to do it. Right. So he I was know, more I would like think I would practice on the poor for a few years, see how it goes. You know, then you need an extra, you know, 20 years, 15, 20 years to find out for sure. Um, cuz you don't want to just damage your ch- you take a chance at that age damaging your children because you want your offsprings. That's true. So, there's a good chance they weren't doing it. And since he was his parents' only son, they wouldn't want to take a chance. Not with it being that early in, you know, circumcision. Coming back, you know, as a thing. Okay, so let's say, for argument's sake, let's say they would have got him circumcised. Would it have healed? Would his mutant healing factor have kicked in at that point in time? Or would it still have waited to kick in once he reached puberty. Well, stress can do an early offset. Mm-hmm. That's what happened, I think, with like Kitty Pride. I think she was pre puberty when her powers kicked in. Okay. So it could have kicked them in real early. I mean, it's not like you don't have those genes in you. Correct. And with the healing factor, especially with the onset of stress, probably healed them right off the bat or right off the cut. <laughs> but what if it didn't? Well, then he's already pretty circumcised, and so then, if he were actually circumcised up all the way till puberty, when he got his mm-hmm. mutant, when his mutant abilities kicked in, if someone were to get close enough and he were to let them cut him around there. Or say chop it off. Would it say grow back? Taking a low dive. Yeah. Would it grow back uncircumcised or circumcised? Hmm. All right. So, yeah. Technically, if he was circumcised, it you know it would have to be, you know, cut off at the tip there at least. Probably come back natural. Come back natural. Most likely, because let's say he would lost the pinky. I'm back to the fingers. I don't know what the hell's up with that. But see, Anyways, he's got if he lost adam- his finger, he, he's got the adamantium like, to skeleton. Here, he's got the adamantium well, skeleton. Well, let's say this though, was so... pre, okay. pre adamantium skeleton. Well, if he lost the finger when he was a kid, um, even before the adamantium skeleton, because that came later, mm-hmm. and then he got cut from here, and then he got cut here later on after his healing factor totally kicked in, would the whole finger grow back? I'm gonna say think, no. I would think it would. In Age of Apocalypse, he stuck his claws right into Cyclops' eye, and Cyclops blew his hand off, and Maybe. so he had that metal plate over. Mm-hmm. He had no hand; his hand didn't grow back, but he still had his claws. Okay, then that should answer the circumcision thing too. It wouldn't come back if the hand didn't come back, and the metal plate's gone. I mean, you don't have to have adamantium there right so so you're saying it if someone got a little bit too happy with their circumcision wolverine would have a sex change no it would grow back and let well there's a good chance okay chick wolverine (laughs) discussion time we've already got x23 though oh yeah well now she's got a new mommy (laughs) so let's see chick wolverine who do you think she would go for? Definitely not Cyclops. Hmm. He has mental issues, but not that bad. Nightcrawler. Okay, yeah, totally Nightcrawler. <laughs> <laughs> think of all the things Nightcrawler could do if he wasn't a priest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure Amanda... He could use that tail for some pleasure. <laughs> I'm just thinking the sulfur. The smell alone would drive me nuts. But, but. <laughs> Wolverine, he spent years out in the wilderness without taking baths. So he got pretty ripe. 
True. But you don't smell yourself as much as you would smell others. He would have to clean up just to keep his, you know, senses. Which I'm pretty sure he would have, considering if he was stuck in the wilderness, he was definitely doing some hunting. True. So, yeah, I think um, Nightcrawler would totally burn his nose. Mm. Okay. What about... Okay. Angel. He would go for Angel. No. X-23 is already with Angel. Yeah, okay, though. There's some weird family (laughs) issues going on. (laughs) No. I don't think he'd want the little pretty boy. Thinking he did like that real pretty girl. And and considering Angel is what brought him back from being Apocalypse's death. Oh, you think he has some, like, you saved me issues? Maybe. No. No. Maybe he's still Archangel. Yeah. With the energy, the light wings? Mm -hmm. Or the metal wings? Metal. Nah, it, on, it, you know it'd be the like light the wings. Stabby, stabby. <laughs> it would be the light wings, could, because then with the light wings, Angel can heal anybody. So Wolverine if, already heals, but he doesn't regenerate stuff. That's true. So maybe tit for tat, give Ar- give Archangel a little action in exchange to heal his manhood. Oh, you see now. <laughs> no, because then he's already done it. He's already all in. If he's going to be all in, why not just go saber tooth? Let's go some real issues there. Well, see, here's the thing though. Dakin, do you know who about Dakin? No. Dakin is Wolverine's son. He has a son now. Who's bisexual? Okay. Who's he going for? Tell me, saber tooth. No, please. No. Oh. He will. He will go for anybody, <laughs> and then kill him right after. Where do I find him? Because I know some (laughs) ex-boyfriends. No, that would be me. Wolverine would probably go for Mystique. If he had a sex change. He would go for Mystique. Because Mystique could shapeshift into a man. And Wolverine wouldn't feel awkward about it. He's still technically fucking a woman. (laughs) Good point. May sorry he turned off but mistake because she liked to turn into Jean Grey. He still fucked her. Even after the fact. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> what do you guys think? If Wolverine had a sex change, who would he go for? I think he'd go, still go for Mystique. No. Yeah. No, if he had a sex change, he'd have to go all in. You know, just go with it be a woman. So he would find a guy. Maybe Colossus. Ooh, that fastball special. That that would uh-huh. that would totally give the fastball special. And he had, he's always had a thing with those Russians. I mean, Omega Red. I mean, that would take the fastball special to a whole new level. <laughs> <laughs> I, I oh wow. Now who gets to smoke the cigar afterwards? <laughs> Wolverine, because I don't think Colossus <laughs> smokes. Now, see, Colossus might be too good for him. Too goody two shoes for him. Now, speaking of Colossus, him and Kitty Pride are a thing. Right. So how does that work during sex? Kitty Pride can become intangible. And if it gets too dur- rough, she can back off a little. <laughs> during those times of intensity, you know, she may not have full control over herself. So say he's thrusting a little too hard, she goes intangible, he literally fucks right through her. If it is also made of steel or whatever Colossus is made of, I can't remember. Um, he's not really going to hurt the bed or a wall or whatever it's against. Now, she did that to Pete Wisdom when she was with him. She'd probably break something, but I think Colossus would be safe. And he's not going to get too rough for Kitty Pride. True. Because yeah, she's kind of badass. Um, but she human form. She so. could take it, though, in right. more ways than one. Right, so as long as he's full metal, she could go intangible. I mean, they might, like I said, blast a hole through the wall. <laughs> Mind explain to the parents there. <laughs> Sorry, Daddy, Xavier. Yeah, I know, there's like eight holes, but it's fine. Thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, as long as he's human, I don't see her really going intangible. Hmm. A little bit too goody two shoes, so. Hmm. I don't see her going, you know. How do you think she likes it in bed? 
You think she? Hard. You think she's a freak in bed? Uh, let's see. After the magic series, the way I that cat that. acted, I bet she's like that in bed. Because you got a whole different woman there. Yeah, so I'm going to go. She's total badass in the bedroom. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> she she could make part of her body intangible, have them thrusting, come up through her mouth, and then just make her mouth tangible. Give head a whole new way. Yeah, he's, he's metal, though. I mean, she would have to stay intangible because even Kitty probably couldn't take that. No. You would need someone with the healing factor, like, mistake. You know my parents can never watch this now, right? <laughs> uh, your your parents? What about your kid? No, she's got a horrible sense of humor. <laughs> okay, so she got that for me. So <laughs> Phoenix, how would how would Cyclops or Wolverine have sex with Phoenix? If she lost control and actually became Phoenix during... Uh, Wolverine would be able to regenerate, whereas um, Cyclops would be toast. So let's bring it on! (laughs) Marvel, pay attention. Well, Cyclops... I think Cyclops is with Emma Frost now. He does like being mindfucked, doesn't he? Because he had a thing for Psylocke there for a while, too. Yeah. He's got a thing for those girls who can read his mind. He, he even went after Jean's clone, he, Madeline. Oh, you married her. They even, they even made her a little Dark Phoenix thing for a while. We we completely got off track of the Wolverine <laughs> thing. So, back on Wolverine. If somebody were to do that, who would be crazy enough to try to circumcise Wolverine? Just in the Marvel Universe? Just in the Marvel Universe. Okay, well, we got Mystique first. Uh, Sabretooth. Those are the easy ones there. Deadpool. I was Deadpool would Deadpool. do it for days on end. I mean, he'd just be there with his chop, 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 chop. Heel, bitch, heel. So, <laughs> days, months. I can see I'm not getting bored for quite a while with that game. No, Deadpool wouldn't get bored at all. No. Yeah, he, we're talking years. <laughs> centuries, even. Yeah, and he'll be around for it. Well, now, in 2099, Deadpool did age quite drastically. He's an old, old man now. Now, supposedly he's, he's immortal because Thanos... He's he's immortal, but he can still age. Oh. He's... He's going to be one ugly old dude. Oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> Let, let's bring this up. i got to show you what uh, Deadpool 2099 looks like. Whatever happened to Deadpool and Siren... I don't know. All right. All right, so it, it looks like his daughter took over as Deadpool. Uh, and then let me see if I can find an actual image of Deadpool himself. Yeah, there he is. Oh, well, it's not too bad. He just looked a little sad. Now, in the actual comic, I think he's got like a long beard, long gray beard. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So you can finally grow facial hair? I guess. Is the cancer wearing off? If I, I get know. bored after that long? He looks very frail. Kind of like... Yeah, well, here, here he is, right here. They probably don't have chimichangas. Very frail. He's got a belly on him. <laughs> yeah, he can still kick ass. Look at that face. <laughs> so, would he ter- eventually turn to dust if he got old enough? I don't think he'd make it that far. You know, to the dust phase. Because he still had all of his skin pretty much in the condition it's always been in. Well, I, I started hanging out with you right when right before the first X-Men movie came Right. Out. That was when I still just had, like, the Ninja Turtles supply of weaponry. It has expanded yeah. greatly. Really? Some of them even got names. You named your weapons? There's a couple. I have this pretty axe. It's Cuddles. <laughs> you named your axe Cuddles. You would have too. It's adorable. It's, um, you got the dragon head going down into the tail, which goes up and spikes out. And the axe blades are wings. That's pretty I cool. I thought I hugged it. I named it Cuddles. 
So then I got the, um, Do you this sleep knife with about, your ex? It's close. <laughs> it doesn't get to share the bed, no. <laughs> and neither does Snuggles. <laughs> What's Snuggles? Uh, dragon handled with the, uh, blaze, like, um, about that long, the shooting flames type thing. Very, very sharp. If somebody comes in, they're going to get to meet Snuggles. For those of you who are just joining us... I like weapons a uh, lot. Almost 20 years ago, <laughs> I met this chick. Her mom introduced us. <laughs> and at their 4th of, of July cookout, <laughs> she asked me, Hey, you want to spar? I got weapons. <laughs> she takes this katana <laughs> and tells me, If I go to cut you, I'll turn the blade. So that I actually just get you with the back side rather than the sharp side. I'm there with a bow staff like Donatello versus Leonardo. But I think I handled myself pretty well in that you, situation. You are still here and we're not seeing any scars. So I kept my word. And we did switch. I took the stuff for a while. You didn't get me once. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. <laughs> There's a couple good shots in there. Actually, they were worried. They were like, uh, do we need to make them stop? Yeah. It is still spoken of. <laughs> Whole <laughs> yard full of people. Everyone just around the yard getting ready to watch fireworks. And here we are. <laughs> She's got a katana in her hand. I've got a bow staff. They're thinking we're going to kill each other. That was one of the best sparring matches ever. It's like someone who's <laughs> actually willing to go there. So thank you. <laughs> And because you, everyone else just goes, okay, no. I'm like, come on. I was like, I'll let you have the sword. And you know, we haven't seen each other in 20 years. Yeah, it's been a while. And we pick up right where we left off. She's already <laughs> wanting me to do another sparring match. I do. Uh, yeah, you guys have got to talk them into this for me. Maybe it's once really fun. Once I lose about 100 pounds and get back down to weight, maybe. Sparring would be great exercise. Think how many calories you could burn. <laughs> I'd also be slow as hell. <laughs> I'm nowhere I'll near as agile on, as yeah. I used to be. <laughs> I've got to get back down to 200 before I spar with anybody, which is why I'm going to the gym. I will say get on it. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.